Right, so today what you're going to need, you're going to need the dumbbells and you're going to need a chair if you've got one. If you haven't got a chair, do not panic, we've got another exercise for you. And we're going to be doing five exercises, all right? Got some flies in here, what's going on in here? Let's open up a couple of windows. It must be me, it must be my armpits. How are we doing though? Let's see. Who's good? Mike Sinard. Hey, Mike, how's the neck doing, mate? Is it feeling any better? That's a big question. Um, four people on, good stuff. This week's going to be a good week. I've literally been working since seven this morning um, in my little um, spare room. So um, I've just been tapping away. Done... Hello, Heather, how are we? I haven't done many steps at the moment, so I need to make sure I get my bum in gear because literally I've done no steps at all. So I need to make sure I get onto that. Let's just make sure this time is on properly. Might have to get the old pad eye. Give me one second. Can we find the iPad? The iPad? I'm back, don't panic, don't panic, Mr. Mannery, I'm here. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a circuit. We're doing five minutes. So it's literally one minute, keep going with the exercises, and so on. We're gonna have 10 seconds rest in between each exercise so we can get nice and ready, all right? 10 seconds rest. If you're ready back at home, just start marching on the spot. One minute. Good. Right then, everyone. So, let's start with marching on the spot. We're just going to get the heart rate up. What this is going to be, this is going to be, it says on here, it's a 24 minute workout. Just making sure. We're going through different exercises. So, ideally, you need dumbbells. Remember, if you haven't got dumbbells, as we always say, you can use bottles of water, tins of bins. If you want to stay for the whole workout sat in the chair, that is absolutely fine. We completely understand. Let's take some nice backward circles. You will have to adapt the workout slightly to suit sitting in the chair. I'll try my best to remember, and I'll give you an alternative for each exercise, just in case you are chair-based. Uh, let's take in a chest stretch. Push that chest out, nice straight back. It's actually a nice workout, it gets me moving. I try and get the majority of my, like my admin based stuff done, big forward circles in the morning because I find that's when I've got my most like kind of, um, trying to think what the word is. Um, perseverance, and I find as the day goes on, the weather gets nicer, it gets warmer, all I want to do is go outdoors and backstretch, nice big reach forwards. So I try and get all the bulk of my work done, and then it's done, I'm happy and I can then relax. Nice big stretch up, reach up. Good, and then we're gonna swing the arms under and over. And let's take those feet back, shoulders apart, a little bit wider. And all you're going to do with the right arm first, you're going to literally reach over, stretch. Reach over the left and stretch. The right, stretch, good. Reach as far as you can. It's really nice. It gets your hips loosened off. Also helps your back. Good, you can do this down in the chair. You don't need to be standing up at all. Then I'm gonna just reach across and then reach across. Really nice, just get your body moving all the ways it's supposed to move. And there we go, give those arms a shake out. Let's go with some bum kickers. Remember, you can use the mantelpiece if you need to. 
Or you don't need to use the mount piece, you can flip this leg behind you. Pat, I've done 250 steps already. And then from there, let's go for a good march on the spot before we get into the workout. Three, two, one, and rest that. Right, keep marching on the spot. I'm just going to take you through the exercises. So our first exercise is going to be an alternating shoulder press. Up like so, and we can march on the spot. And we're doing that for a minute. Chase the burn. You can do it in the chair as well. There's no problem at all. Literally, the whole time. Keep marching back home. I'm watching you. <laughs> then we've got... The next exercise will be our sit to stand. So if you need to use the weights to make it harder, you can, you're gonna sit down, and we're gonna stand up. Sit down, and we're gonna stand up. That's your next exercise. Your third exercise is gonna press up against the wall. Remember, use the mantelpiece, like so, and push forwards and backwards. If you're sat in the chair, what you can do is with the sit to stands, you can do your alternate arm and knee, and then you can do your pushes and pulls. If you want to make a hard and out piece, the window seal is a great option. After that, what we're then doing is we're doing our single arm row, which is where we're going to put our knee on the chair and we're going to row. Just like so. Really, really good for our back muscles. Make sure you keep your back nice and straight and your bum out. Halfway, we're going to change sides. If you can, and only if you can, you can lean over your hips and you can do both of them at the same time. Be really careful. If you feel it in your lower back, go for the single arm row instead. And then to finish off with, we're just going to do a good march on the spot, or we're going to go for our elbow to knees. All right, a minute of each exercise, and then we keep going through. We'll have a little 30 second break at the end of each round, and if you wanted to, you can grab a drink. Right, I'm going to put my timer on, because this tells me and keeps me nice and organised. Right, grab those dumbbells. And Three, two, two. One, go. let's go. The nice thing about doing time for me, I haven't got to count reps. And as you know, I like the chat. So I can chat the whole way through this workout and I haven't got to worry about counting any reps. If you find a minute is too hard for you back at home, do not panic, you do not need to do the minute. You could just do 30 seconds, you could do 40 seconds if you wish to. Completely your choice. Halfway. Exercise we sit to stand. Now you don't need to use the weights if you don't want to. You can just sit in the chair and stand up. Let's go. Yeah, so it's entirely up to you. Some people like to do reps. You know, you do 10 reps of an exercise or 15 reps of an exercise. Other people like to do time. I like to do time personally. I like to make sure I'm getting the most out of the workout. It's nice. We know that we're going to be working hard for 24 minutes, right? With the warm up, with the cool down, that's well over the 30 minutes, which is the recommended amount. But if you feel like you're getting to, you know, halfway the workout and you're feeling a bit tired, a bit lethargic, it's absolutely fine, it's completely understandable. Give yourself a drink, have a little breather, or you can stop and rest and then wait for me to move on to the next exercise. Now, all right, so remember if you want to with the window seal or the mantelpiece, complete your choice. 
but make sure your feet are nice and sturdy and we're in. Halfway, good stuff. So remember, if you need to, you can lean over, make two bent over rows, or do what I'm doing. Three, one knee on the two, chair, one, and all you're going to do is 30 seconds worth. So you're going to pull up, 30 seconds, and then what you're going to do at halfway, we're going to change sides. This exercise is really, really good for your back, amazing for your posture, all right? Really, really important. Good, we're going to take the sides out. If you find the weight a little bit too easy, right, but you want to progress, what a good idea to do sometimes is get one of those bags for life. It's really strong bags, and you can actually add a bit more weight in there. So when you're pulling up and down, you can really work for those back muscles. Exercise is going to be up, alternate elbows on march on the spot, and then we're into the next round. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. So I'm just going to sit and march on the spot. If you want to, you can do your alternate elbows. Make sure you look after your balance. Always stay nice and sturdy next to something. If at this point you're feeling quite fit because this will be coming to the end of round one, you can then break it into a bit of a light jog to keep the heart rate up and get those extra steps in. I'm just going to keep it a march. If you're in the chair, you can just literally put your feet out, forwards, backwards. Halfway there. Big thing with exercise, everyone back at home, is that you've got to remember to work the whole body. So a lot of people will say they like a set of routine, that's absolutely great. But you've got to make sure you've got a leg exercise in there, you've got an upper body exercise in there, you've really got a back exercise in there because remember as we get older, our shoulders tend to round. So that single arm row is pulling our shoulders back. So the heavier you can work that muscle, the better your posture is going to be. All right? Three, two, one, rest. Good. So you've got your 30 seconds rest now. If you need to grab a drink, you're more than welcome to. If you don't want to grab a drink, you can literally keep marching on the spot or you can just tap your feet out like so. But in 20 seconds, we're going back into our alternate shoulder presses. I think this week, the weather's looking a lot better than what it was. I think it's going to be ideal. Fingers, fingers crossed. Some good weather. They reckon it's going to get a lot hotter as the week goes on. That's what we hope anyway. Three, two, one. Go. Uh, let's go. Nice big deep breaths. Remember, we're trying to stay nice and upright. We're not leaning back. We're sucking that stomach in, keeping it all nice and tight. Three, two, one. 
and let's go. Yeah, little dog update. Joey's doing a lot better. We got him on loads of medication. He had um, a little man had a scan, an x-ray, because his back was playing up. But he's much, much better now. You might see him in a second, he might pop in. But he's on a lot of painkillers. And his heart's not too good either, so he's got some heart medication. He might be coming in just now. Joey! 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 Halfway there. Oh, you traitor, Joey. Where is he? Here he is. See? Hello, Joey. Hello. He's feeling better now, back, isn't he? Yeah, much better. A little man's feeling better. He wasn't too well, was he? I'm actually holding now. See? He's not yelping, he's not shaking, is he? Joey. He's basically obsessed with Bex. <laughs> so we go near Bex. He barks at me. One, rest. He even nibbles me, but he hasn't really got any teeth, so I'm going to worry about that. Right. We're going for press ups Three, against the wall, right? Two, one, go. And we're off. In the blue corner. He doesn't like his hardest, he likes to be free. He's a hippie. Halfway there. He likes a flower in his hair, he likes free spirit. Okay. Good, last few of you're doing great. Forward to backwards, keep pushing those arms. Three, two, two, one, and good stuff. Ooh, give his arms a little shake out. So, single arm rows now. Three, two, Remember, go. knee on the chair, take the leg a little wider apart. Next time you do this exercise, you find the weight's not enough, because tins of beans really won't be enough for this exercise to really work those back muscles. What I recommend definitely is by getting a rucksack, or a really strong bag, and then putting something heavier in there, so you're pulling that rucksack or that bag up and down. It's going to be a great exercise for getting that back working. Improve your posture massively, it'll stop those shoulders from rounding. Halfway there. Good, we're going to change sides now. And always make sure whatever you're using, whether you're using the coffee table, using the chair, it's nice and sturdy, you don't want it to slip up from underneath you. Sit back. I put a bit of timber on this last COVID period, so I want to make sure it's nice and sturdy for me. Bet keeps baking. So I keep eating lots of cake. Two, one, good. Rest. Right, we've now got our marches to go, and that will complete our round two. Three, two, one. And let's go. So get those feet marching, get those arms going. Remember, if you want to, you can speed the pace up because we're just coming up to the halfway mark of the workout. Halfway there. Halfway. Right, last 15 seconds, and we've got a little breather after this, so you can pick up the pace if you want to. Definitely getting warmer in here. Three, two, one, and we're relaxed there. Good. So remember, grab yourself a drink if you need one, or just have a little breather for a second. If you want to keep walking, you can. You can keep marching on the spot, or mine stepwise. It's not too bad. Could do better. I like to really aim for. I like to get more towards the 20,000 mark. I like my food. And the thing is, if you like your food, you need to do more steps. But I'd say for anyone back at home, we're going to go through the next exercise. Three, two, one, go. 
For anyone back at home, and you're wondering how many steps you can get, you can go online and just buy like a pedometer. I've got a Fitbit, but you don't need to buy a fancy Fitbit, you can just buy a pedometer or a step counter, and track how many steps you do each day. The golden number people talk about a lot is 10,000, but it doesn't need to be 10,000. It can literally be just a bit more than what you're currently doing. So if you're only doing 2,000 a day or 3,000, then just try and get that extra 1,000 in or an extra 500. Compound interest, that's a big thing you want to remember, okay? It's a bit like putting money in the bank. You gain interest on it, it does you well. Exactly the same with your fitness. The little bits you do every single day, you might not think do a lot, but over time they build up and you get better and better. Right, we're going for our sit stands now. Keep this core engaged up and down. Remember, if you need to breathe, that's more than fine. Otherwise, if you find it too easy, you can always hold up the dumbbells. And that will increase your workout, make things a little more challenging. Good. Right, over the press ups, make sure it's nice and sturdy. Shoulders back and down, keep that chest up. Three, two, one. And let's go. Great stuff. Keep pushing forward and backwards. Get those arms working the whole time. Nice big deep breaths. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Right, single arm rows. So remember, take that leg nice and wide, you want your hips flat. Three, two, one, go. And let's pull up. Great, change sides. Right, back in the march on the spot, and that will complete round three. We've got one more round left after that. Two, one, go. So now, if you find the workout a little bit easy, this is when you increase the pace. This is when you work a little bit harder, but only if you want to. You get those steps in, you start to move faster. If you're finding the workouts a, a reasonable number, a level, remember on the RP scale, then just slow down a little bit. You don't have to speed up. 
Remember a big thing about RPE scale, how hard you feel you are working. That's the most important thing, remember? So you want to be able to be a bit short of breath, but still be able to hold a conversation. If you're talking as I am now, it means you need to increase the pace a little bit. If you're a bit red in the face, a bit puffy and panty, spot on. Have a little breather. We've got round four to go through, and then we are done. Let me just level out this mat a little bit. Hit my chest. There we go. Hope you find the workout all right. Remember, always let us know how you get on. It's really interesting to know whether the workout's too hard or too easy, or if they're just right, perfect. Grab both dumbbells. Let's complete round four. Three, two, one. And we're off. Halfway. Halfway there. Get those arms straight up, right above you. Really try and reach as high as you can. Really, really good, okay? So remember, if your arms are doing this, you've got to try and get them back. We don't lean in back with the body. We go over the shoulders. Nice, healthy shoulders. Right, sit to stand. Halfway everyone, if you need a break, great. If you don't, keep going. We've got our press ups left, we've got our single arm rows, and then we've got our march on the spot and then the workout is complete. Great, keep it up. Three. Last few seconds. our single arm rows. Remember, half on each side. Get yourself Three, ready. Two, one, go. And let's pull up. Way 
Good, we're gonna change sides. push on, go for a little bit faster if you can, if you can't, do not panic. Last little bit, three, two, one, and we're gonna rest there. That's the workout complete, so what we'll do is just go for a few stretches just to finish off with. So we're gonna start with the neck and we're gonna work our way down. So let's start with the neck, and all you're gonna do is just go from one side and you're gonna semicircle it to the other side. One side, you're gonna semicircle it. How was he? Yeah, he wasn't too bad, though. And then we'll get a chest stretch. The body, we're going to take a shoulder stretch. Change arms. Good, then we need to go back to the arm stretch. Perfect. Front of the thigh stretch. So we're going to do grab hold of the ankle and pull that leg up, or place your knee on the chair and go a hip stretch. From there, we're going to change legs. And then we're going to back of the thigh stretch. So remember, right leg in front of the left, nice big reach forwards. And then we're going to change legs. And then when you're ready, we're going to have a nice big deep breath in. We're going to reach up. Deep breath out. Reach up. Deep breath out. And the last one. 
And a nice big deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a back try five and a pat on the back. That's what I'd like to see.